The long-awaited counter for Ultra Gohan is finally here. Ultra Golden Frieza. He is going to be undoubtedly one of the best counter units in the game. I do want to say that this video was made soon after the unit was revealed, so some parts may be inaccurate, but the information will generally be useful. Without any delays, let's dive into the first team. The first team I'd like to talk about is Lineage of Evil. I personally don't run LOE, hence why I don't have certain units. Therefore, I will have to use placeholders, the new Ultra will be in leader slot to buff the whole team, and I don't have Go Frieza, which is why I'm using this Frieza as a placeholder. Go Frieza will be an essential unit to have if you are running LOE, because then being a rush control alongside Frieza's comeback feature, you will have a deadly team. Because they will color counter both Super 17 and Ultra Gohan. And we also have this Revival Frieza to also be a rush control to have an unkillable team. I will also be mentioning some replacement units if you don't have them. There aren't any replacements on the same level of Go Frieza, but an alternative would be this Zenkai Golden Frieza. He has a pretty decent kit, and his ultimate does really good damage. And another replacement could be this Zenkai Cooler. He is a decent range type unit and has a good supply of green cards which you can use to faint your enemies. I don't think I need to mention any replacements for this Revival Frieza since he is such an old unit. With these replacements, you are losing a rush control, so I really wouldn't recommend running LOE if you don't have Go Frieza. Also, the Zenkais will be up to you. Powerful opponent is going to be insane. If you pair Ultra Frieza with LF Super 17 and LF Super Baby 2, you might arguably have one of the most broken teams in this meta. I don't have Super 17 or Super Baby 2, but from my experience, I'm most likely to be correct. Super 17 would be the best partner with Ultra Frieza, since he also is an extremely strong blast base attacker, on top of having his broken green card, which can absorb any blast based attack. Also, Super Baby 2 will gain a lot more value now. Since the Frieza is purple, people will be using a lot more yellow units. Super Baby 2 will also be a really good attacker on top of being an amazing disrupt because he can remove Vanish every time his gauge fills up. There are tons of replacements for powerful opponent since there are so many units now. If you don't have Super 17, you can pretty much use any meta-relevant powerful opponent characters, but the main one I would recommend is Ultra Janemba. Him being a blue unit would help significantly to counter Super 17, and his counter unique gauge can help a lot in terms of stopping combos, and he is an overall good alternative unit if you don't have Super 17. If you don't have Baby, then you can use the new Parasitism Trunks. He is a really good support because he can disrupt the enemy's combos, which is really useful. But if you don't have the new trunks either, you can still use LF Full Power Jiren, LF Perfect Cell, Magenta, and the list goes on. The last team I want to talk about is Sagas from the movies. This is not the best tag to run, but this tag does hold some pretty good units, which makes this tag worth mentioning. You can use Red Beast and Revival Pike on. Red Beast will be your main damage dealer since he can inflict massive damage to your opponents with his blue card, and Pike on will allow you to have another good tank and is a rush control. His green cards will come in really handy in terms of debuffing your opponents, and overall it's a really good team. As for replacements, instead of Red Beast, you can again use Ultra Janemba, but if you don't have him either, you can still use Orange Piccolo. He has kind of fallen off at the moment but he's still usable, he has decent buffing green cards, and he can be used as another rush control because he's a revival. As for Pycon, you can swap him out for Pan. Pan is a really good support because she can be used as a really good tank, and she has a pretty broken green card, which makes her a really good unit. Now let's move on to equipments. From the reveals and stuff, we can see that they will add three new equips, specially for Ultra Frieza. We can see that the first equip is for LOE and purple, which means you can use this equip for not just only Ultra Freeze, but Go Frieza Ace well. It buffs special move and ultimate damage by 10%, which is really good. And it also buffs blast and strike attack by 30% which overall is a really good equip. Moving on to the second equip, it shows it can be equipped to either powerful opponent or LOE. So pretty much any Frieza or powerful opponent. It buffs strike defense by 25%, which is not the best in this blast based meta, but it does buff strike and blast by 12%. And it applies to battle members who are Frieza or Sagas from the movies, which makes this equip amazingly good. Lastly, on the third equip, it can be used for powerful opponent meaning you can use this on Frieza and any powerful opponent units. We can see that this equip also buffs special move damage by 10%, which is pretty good. This equip also increases health by 10%, which is perfect because Frieza's health is lower than most units. This equip can two buff strike attack, but it's 18%, which is really good, and its buff also applies to LOE, 
and sagas from the movies if they are battle members. That's all. Before you go, if you're wondering if you're going to summon, I will mention that the anniversary is a few months away, and Kronos gets significantly nerfed during this time. I personally wouldn't recommend summoning, but it's your Kronos. And if you feel like you need him, then go for it. I will summon because I have to as a content creator. I wish you luck if you are summoning, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a single upload.